Ah, The Sopranos, and Lorraine Bracco. She was nominated for four Emmys for her work on the HBO hit. She was also nominated for an Oscar for um, the movie Goodfellas. Well, Cameron Matheson sat down with Lorraine today, and Cameron, it was one of those interviews where you two just had a vibe going, wasn't it? Yeah, she just completely laid it all out there, yeah. and I, I love when that happens. Now look, Lorraine's life has been just about as dramatic off screen as on. She's battled depression, weight gain, aging in Hollywood, and we sat down and we talked about it all. Let me say this, Lorraine really is an open book, and maybe a little bit flirty too. <laughs> Check it out. And you look so fantastic, and you seem fantastic, so whatever you're doing, it's working. Well, I look at you, and you look pretty good, too. <laughs> it's too bad you're, more, you're not more honest. I am who I am. I'm not going to change now. Mm. I mean, I barely look in the mirror. I'm, I'm in a hotel room right now with, like, mirrors everywhere, and I'm like, I can't stand, like, reflections of myself. It's, it's, it's oh, overwhelming. Oh, I only like them good for, for certain things. Yeah, if the, if the lighting's right. Another aspect of the book that I really appreciated... Go over your head. What's that? Nothing. They're going to put that in a piece, aren't they? <laughs> Okay, it went over my head, but what I did get, Lorraine is not afraid to tell it like it is. For instance, about getting a nip tuck. Well, who doesn't want to get plastic surgery? I don't want to get plastic surgery. I've had some of the greatest plastic surgery ever. I had <laughs> mini liposuction right in here, and it made a huge difference. It took away those big jowl things. I was very happy with that. How much pressure do you feel from Hollywood as an actress in Hollywood to fit a certain mold, a certain look? I don't really give a <laughs> You know what? I always had the philosophy. You like that, huh? It's all right. We have bleeps for that. I mean, I am who I am. But in her new book, To the Fullest, Lorraine says that after dealing with depression and money troubles, she found herself way overweight. I had gained about 35 pounds. So I was really a tabola. And you dedicate to the fullest to your parents who woke you up. Tell me about that. They both passed nine days apart. Mm. What was rough was they were ill and they suffered. When they passed and we buried them, I, I made a vow to myself that I was going to do everything to stay healthy. I read also in the book that your your good friend James Gandolfini's death also inspired you to kind of like get keep this in gear, going. write the book, and keep, keep it, it going. going. Yeah. Keep it going. Well, look, Jimmy was a decade younger than me. Mm. I was shocked by his death. I really was. It, it shook me to my core. I have to pay attention to my health because it's like that. Before I let you go, I have to ask you for a Melfi selfie. <gasps> the phenomenon that's out there. Is that okay? Yeah, Can it's I do so that? much Can I lean fun. Over? All right. Melfi selfie, that's I love right. it. Lorraine Soprano character Dr. Melfi is now the rage on the internet. Yeah, that, hashtag Melfi selfie. Yeah, it's so much fun. I love it. I'm like, wow, she lives. Yeah.